Once you go smoking tobacco free, you never want to go back to the way it used to be. This is the Share the Air Fair. We're celebrating day one of the University of Minnesota campus going entirely smoke and tobacco free. Pinwheels are one way to get people's attention and to promote this event and the change in the campus policy. More than 50 campuses here in Minnesota have a policy in place already and more than 1,500 around the country have a policy in place. So certainly a pattern that we've seen around the country and we're excited that the U has chosen to join in. As a non-smoker, I love this new policy that's set in place. I'll be able to walk outside now and breathe clean, clean air without having to worry about smoke blowing in my face. Tobacco is the number one health risk for all of our campus community members. Uh, smokers have lower grade point averages than non-smokers, lower grade point averages than even high-risk drinkers. Smokers have higher risk of anxiety disorders and dis uh, depression, um, more classes missed, um, less productivity, and so this is an important public health initiative. Students are most likely to initiate during these years, uh, their college years, and so by uh, reducing the use on campus, we're changing that social norm and uh, hopefully we'll see a decrease in college students who are smoking. When you have policies in which it's less convenient, you're changing the social norms, and then the third is price points, so why you have tobacco taxes. Those are the most effective to, to create this type of large-scale change. Anywhere on campus is smoke-free, so whether it's out to Kaufman, out to River Road, out to University Avenue, Stadium Village, it's smoke-free, share the air. Can't smoke on campus anymore.